Monsieur? You a serial killer? Oh, I'm this a rancher. Where you going? Many places don't want to down their whiskey. For Christ's sake, here, of course. <laughs> yourself. Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. 
overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, my God. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't! My reputation! How about your reputation now? I, I'd never be published again! really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course uh, we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you.
I need help here. The saloon is absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. We can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need them gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? Yeah? Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. Head in there, but please, please, try not to destroy the place. Well, shit. Thank you, mister. You earned this, that's for sure. You got it. Better be the last of them. I don't think I can handle otherwise. Welcome back. Uh, 
Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. Partner? Hey, boy. Hell there. Excuse me. Look, keep your hands to yourself. Hey, I'm looking for Boy Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What right a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, 
now. You're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. What? I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Ah, uh, hello. What do you need? Enjoy your trip. Listen to me! Stop! Madam! Gather round! Gather round! I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir! So help me, God, so strike me down! We are killing ourselves! Killing ourselves fast, and hard, and nasty! Love you, me, sir. But the world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn and weep. Hello there. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Hmm. Thank you. Scoff not, laugh not, deride not. I speak the truth. We are killing this land, killing it with greed, killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil, the sea will dry up, the world will heat. Crops shall wither, the hills shall burn, the rivers shall turn to fire. 
And this will not be some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. This is a land founded on greed. Not on science, not on truth, but on greed. Must Dawn must be open. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. 
I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. Comfortable enough for you? This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Sit tight, all will be revealed. Now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. This is it. Down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that then. Shut I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. <sighs> I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name.
it back. Yep. Idiot. Yeah. 
easy now. Slow up now. Time to go, boy. Yeah. This guy is your mysterious Howdy. savior? I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten no. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right. Take a look around.
noted. You have a good day now. I need a wash. You got a bath? You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. Check back later for new stock. <laughs> Howdy. Could I offer some assistance? Sure, why not? Good. Now relax. You let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. Bye, hun. Self same thing. Hello. Never know who might try to test it. Hello, sir. Hello there, mister. <laughs> It's nice to see a returning face. Thank you. 